Hey folks, Crazy Glamour Eddie here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Canyon Bomber. And this was created by Atari in 1978. It is a black and white strategy game in which you fly various different air vehicles over a canyon and you drop bombs down to eliminate little point targets. And they're these little balls that have numbers on them and the numbers that are on them are their point value. And uh, you fly against another blimp, or, or uh, well, they're a blimp here, but later on you'll change vehicles. There will be planes um, of various size, and uh, you just keep bombing those targets, and you keep going until you miss three times and you miss by either not dropping a bomb during one pass or you miss by uh, not hitting a target and as you eliminate targets um, the canyon uh, uh, the number of balls in the canyon will diminish and they'll be much harder to hit your uh, vehicle will change speed at times. It'll start out very slow. We'll begin here. But uh, the computer blimp will constantly be dropping bombs. Um, they seem to, <coughs> seem to tend to get a lead on you early on easily. But uh, don't worry, they'll eventually, they'll eventually start missing and uh, their turn will be over. And it'll just be you. Um, if you play for quite a while, you can eventually start to get a feel as to where your bomb will drop. But, of course, it'll change depending on the vehicle that you have. And now, all of a sudden, I'm switched to a plane. And, uh, with the blimp, you're always slow. But with the plane, you have various speeds of fairly quick to uh, very quick. Ah, there's one miss. But see, the computer has already missed twice. And you get a total of three misses. Take your time setting up your bomb but remember that you have to bomb once per pass oh <laughs> that was not good um you don't get like an extra uh, an extra miss at a certain score which i think is kind of stupid but um once you destroy all the well, that was close almost uh, got a miss there we go once you, uh, now he's a little slower than the last pass. Once you eliminate all the, all the balls, then, uh, they refill, and, uh, the computer will return and pick up their score where they left off. But, uh, that's basically it. There was an Atari 2600 version of this with color. And uh, you could also fly a chopper. Ah, crap. Well, that was three misses. I outscored the computer 329 to 217. It's pretty easy to beat the computer you got to get a feel for the timing and note that if your angled bomb eliminates targets below other targets then the top targets will fall down and uh, yeah the point value of the targets are one two three and four I'm gonna I'm gonna play a couple more times or maybe it was just one more time we'll start here yeah, it's it's nice to to fly that slow. Uh, don't don't 
feel compelled to drop a ton of bombs during one pass if you don't have to. If you get close to the end and you're not to the end of the screen and you're not sure if your bomb will take out targets, don't drop it. As long as you've already bombed once during your pass, that's all you need to do. I like to work on the the tall uh, columns of targets first. I uh, did not did not uh, uh, get all the targets without cheating. <laughs> I did cheat towards the end of this video just to show you what it looks like when all the targets are destroyed. I put on a cheat that gives you like uh, unlimited misses. But again, just as long as you bomb once during a pass, that's all you need to do. And you have to hit, you have to hope you hit something so it doesn't count as a miss. Yeah, after a while you'll you'll get a feel as to uh, noting the speed of your uh, vehicle, um, knowing uh, where the bomb is gonna land. But it, it takes quite a, <laughs> quite a while to figure it out. I didn't see this a whole lot. I believe I saw it like once at a at a movie theater or maybe it was an arcade. I don't remember. It's been so damn long. Again, this was created in 1978 by Atari. And it kind of in some ways it kind of has a feel of uh, Skydiver in that uh, you get misses and uh, you have to have to achieve your objective once, at least once, during a pass. And, uh, you, uh, um, you only, yeah, you only have, uh, three, three chances. And once those are gone, oh, crap, then, uh, your game's over. So they're kind of similar in that respect, I suppose. But yeah, your your vehicle will have different speeds as it goes along. Shoo, just barely got one. And you have to have to uh Oh man, I just got him. You have to learn the uh intricacies of uh Ah, oh, yeah, I just barely did the bomb too late at the end. That was actually a pretty good score, 397 to 197. I got 200 points more than the white vehicle. But that's that's the game in a nutshell. You just, just learn over time uh, that here's what it looks like to... Uh, oops. Yeah, I have... Well, I took off infinite once I got nine misses I just have to learn the uh, sweet yeah there it starts over in your, uh, the black blimp again yeah I, I put on infinite cheats or infinite uh, misses but uh, let's look at the Atari 2600 version in a sec there's we saw the the sleeve of the cartridge and there's the cartridge itself yeah and it's in color you have uh, different looking vehicles that fly over the canyon. Different sound effects. And you get more misses. I think you get like five misses in this game. Maybe uh, that's adjustable through the uh, game settings. You could maybe set it to three like it's supposed to be. But that was Canyon Bomber by Atari in 1978 black and white uh, strategy game. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Canyon Bomber by Atari in 1978. Uh, interesting little strategy game. I hope you had a good Halloween, and I'll catch you later with another video. See you, folks. Bye.